we can now contrast those features with the normal left ventricle. We see the inlet part, the mitral valve with its paired papillary muscles, the outlet part containing the aortic valve, and we see that in the roof of the normal left ventricle there is fibrous continuity between the leaflets of the mitral and the aortic valve. But the most characteristic feature of the morphologically left ventricle is its apical trabecular component. And here beautifully we see the fine crisscrossing apical trabeculations. But we note also that the septal surface of the morphologically left ventricle is smooth. It does not contain a septomarginal trabeculation or a moderator band, although oftentimes so-called false tendons do cross the cavity of the ventricle from the septal to the parietal walls.